Welcome to Black Seas by Warlord Games. In this video, we will be showing you how to play step by step using the core rules. We will be looking at rolling for wind direction, determining the wind gauge order, and then finally activating a ship as dictated by the weather gauge order. At the start of each turn, roll to see if the wind changes direction. There are eight directions the wind can come from, the four table edges and the four corners. Mark any change of the wind direction on the wind rows. To do this, roll a 2d6 and apply to the following table. Determining the weather gauge order. For this example, based on the wind, the direction will come in from the east to the west, therefore from right to left. This means that the first brig on the right will go first, followed by the second brig, then the frigate, and finally the brig on the far end. This is just for example. During a game, this will alternate between the two sides, which shows the order of turn. Phase 3. Activate a ship as dictated by the weather gauge order. When activating a ship, it is important to declare the level of sail. This is indicated on the ship's wake marker, which also outlines the ship's size. When moving a ship, use the amount indicated on the ship's card under rate of knots. For this example, the ship is at battle sails, which allows two separate moves at five inches. This can be indicated by the red or yellow angled line displayed on its card, which is matched against the stern. This example shows a brig at battle sails. This means it will move at five inches, then make a turn and move another five inches. Once a ship has finished its movement and cannot fire, put down a marker next to the ship to indicate it has ended its activation phase. 